Hi everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a knitted sweater and I want to thank Bellish for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Bellish before, it's available on the App Store and unfortunately they don't have an Android version yet, but you can go to bellish.co if you want to create your own pattern. And I think this app is really great for beginners because it'll help you create the base of your sweater, sweater vest, hat, socks, and then you can customize it once you get comfortable with the design, which is kind of what I did. So I'm going to be knitting a sweater. This is a sneak peek. And for this one, I am making a green sweater, but I'm also going to show you guys how I embroidered flowers on it, but that'll be at the end of the video. So here I'm just choosing my base. I'm going to do the drop shoulder sweater. And I'm going to choose the crop regular for a relaxed fit. Oh, I mean the relaxed fit one. And then the crew neck. I always just do the regular stitching because I'm not that advanced yet. And then worsted weight. I chose a medium size. And then I'm using my favorite green color. And then you just press generate the pattern and start knitting. And I just named this flower embroidered sweater because I don't know. <laughs> Not very creative, but make sure to add a title. My dad visited for the weekend, and here I just asked him to help me film me knitting on the train on our way to spin class. I kind of dragged him to spin class at like 6.30 a.m., but he wanted to. I didn't force him. <laughs> here is me on another day going to spin class. I'm kind of struggling here because I tried to prop it up against the window but it kept slipping. I still kind of get self-conscious filming in public, but I am just pushing through it. And here I actually made a lot of progress already. I'm knitting the body of it, which is just simply like knitting in a round until you get to, I think like 12 inches. I'm not sure, I have to look at the pattern again, but yeah, this is a process. So it's pretty easy doing it on the train because it doesn't require much thought. Here's me on another day. Yes, I wear the same thing every day, but I do wash it clothes, don't worry. Uh, I think I split the sweater here, so I'm just working on one side of it. And this is getting really big, so I just always stuff it in my bag and take it out. And everyone always like stares at me in the beginning because I probably look like a crazy knitting lady. Here I am in a meeting and I always knit below the camera so no one can tell what I'm doing. But once in a while, I'm asked to talk, and I'm just like, oh, okay, wait. And then I put my knitting down. Just a little update on the sweater. This is what it looks like. I just finished the sleeve and i'm going to do it on the other side now so i just need to attach like so i just need to attach the like this together so i can do the arm and we should be good so this is literally the same color oh uh, it's a bit darker whatever i like green so here i got some scrap yarn along with my darning needle and i'm going to use the the seamless stitch to connect these two so I'm gonna just flip it over. So I'm gonna start on the very outer edge like that. Perfect. And I'm just gonna knot these together. This is a not this is not a tutorial of how to do this part. I will leave a link below to an actual tutorial <laughs> of how to do the seaming, but I will show you how I decorate my sweater later. So I'm just making the base right now. So this is kind of tricky, tricky. So I am traveling to the US again in a couple, or I guess tomorrow, not even a couple days. So I have to get my rapid antigen test soon. I have to leave in like 10 minutes. So that's gonna be fun. I should have booked my appointment way earlier. I could have saved $35 um but it's my mistake i learned for next time this covid testing is like very frustrating annoying but it's all right we will get it done eventually so i'm just gonna continue with this stitch
mask on so uh i'm just working on the collar of the sweater and i will i didn't tell you guys my plan in the beginning but i am going to be sewing some flowers on and i'm actually going to do a tutorial on that so make sure you stick to the end to see how i do it but yeah i'm very excited to try on the finished product because i've been working on it for a few weeks now just every time i go on transit and stuff so it's gonna be exciting so this is the finished sweater base i think it turned out so well um now i'm going to decorate it with some white flower embroidery so i was thinking of doing some on this part of the sleeves and then maybe some down the side but i want it to still look very minimalist and unnoticeable until you like look closer and you're like oh what is that on the sleeve so i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to do that so a closer look of what we got this is just the sleeve and i'm going to add some detailing in this area so i'm going to teach you how to make the embroidered flowers on this side of the sleeve <laughs> So, okay, so I'm planning on doing it just at the bottom of the sleeve area. I'm gonna insert it into the area I want the base, the middle of the flower to be. And just pull it through like that. Then you wanna Hold it into place how long you want the petal to be and then from the middle you just want to match the length of it and make sure not to put it under put it over the white yarn and then just pull it through and you'll create this petal shape with the yarn in the middle and then to secure that you just want to put it through like right above this part of the yarn to secure it. And there's your first petal. So we're gonna repeat this until we have a bunch of petals going out. And then once you do that, you just wanna insert your needle into the middle of the flower again. So that's your, your base. So again, make the loop where you want it to stay. From the middle, you want to go to the same length and make sure your needle is over the yarn. Hold it in place and pull through. Now to secure it, you see where that yarn is coming out, you want to do one above that and insert the needle like that. And then you want to bring it, your yarn is now behind the project, you want to bring it up through the middle again. So we're just going to do that until we make a full flower. enjoyed it and if you want to try it out make sure to tag me on instagram at loop by Allie. um and also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already this is the finished product i still always need to weave in the ends but i have like the flowers at the end i'm not sure if i want to add more i think it's like really nice and simple i might end up adding some in the middle of the sweater but i really love how this turned out and i will be wearing it lots in the fall so again, thank you so much to Bellish for sponsoring this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!